Hello guys, uh, I actually wanted to play Pandora for you guys. This is a champion that I think it's very very powerful. However, I usually don't play her uh, for you guys on videos. And I was thinking like, why don't I play this champion if she's so very fucking powerful? She has a lot of sustain. She is, um, she has a very very nice ultimate. The silence on her one, it, it can save you very very much. It's very, very, it's a very good champion. Now, the reason why I decided to play her, it was because of uh, of an event going on. Uh, it was it was a couple of weeks ago. I actually never got the opportunity to upload the video. So what I did is I got the skin that I have. is a pumpkin skin. And also the weapon. It's a low level weapon. Uh, but it was actually for three days, I believe. And uh, I was able to use it. So I'm, I was actually pretty happy with the result. I did have this skin and I did also have uh, the weapon so it was pretty nice guys honestly now my silence it is going to be the first thing that I level up the reason is that I actually use it to clear I want to have my poke and what I level up first or what I try to prior it's going to be my actually my one and <clears throat> I'm sorry what I level up first is my two because my two is very very good it allows you to basically uh, take a lot of damage and just uh, steal life away from uh, your enemies. Now, if... Uh, let me go... Uh, shit, I can't check right now the passive. Well, if I am not mistaken, I mean, just from the information that I have, is her passive is that enemies near her actually get uh, magical resistance reduced. Or she gets extra penetration. It's something like that. It's something either you would... Either you reduce the magic armor of the enemies or you get extra penetration. It's something like that. I actually don't have the information with me. But it's either or. I am actually kind of sure it's either or. And as you can see guys, I level up my two first. The reason is that it allows me to, to lifesteal a lot from uh, the enemy. Well, spellbound from the enemy. Now, the build that I have with her is I sometimes build cooldown reduction. I do not build Trollbane on this champion, the reason is that I don't see a need to have it on her because you actually don't have time to proc your basic attacks as, as much as possible. <clears throat> because the cooldown on your one, it's a little bit higher and since I level up my second first, it would be a waste to actually level up my, um, to level up my, uh, my one. Because I, I would be actually changing. Oh shit, what? Uh, fuck. I made a mistake, guys. <clears throat> okay, so let me go over the abilities. Your one, it's going to be a raven that bounces between enemies and then it actually inflicts a silence. So that one's very nice because you can silence a team for a few seconds and that's pretty, pretty helpful. Now, your second ability is like a channeling ability. What it does is it creates a link between you and your enemy. And you actually spell bamp a lot of uh, a lot of HP from your enemy. Now your ultimate. Oh, by the way, uh, once you're channeling your second ability, you actually cannot move. Otherwise, you cancel the ability. And uh, the way to break the link it is for the enemy to walk away from the uh, from the range. They can also stun me. They can uh, use CC on me, and in this case it will be either a stun, or I think a knockup works as well, to break the link. I think it does, I'm not sure, I, again, I'm not sure, guys. Uh, I haven't been presented to all the scenarios. <coughs> Damn. Well, it's gonna be a really bad idea to be fighting uh, Mikiri on a 1v1. The reason is gonna be because he actually excels on bursting enemies. So we don't want that. Okay, so right here, I go for the silence first. That is very important I, because I want to create a gap for my enemies to be able to deal some damage. Now, I decided to go for the ultimate because it was a really, really nice opportunity for me to use it. Now, as you can see, my abilities also do look, uh, look different because of the skin that I'm wearing. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, because of the skin that I'm wearing, uh, the abilities actually change. As you can see, my Raven, it is actually a candy. So I throw a candy that bounces between enemies. The link uh, of your second, it looks pretty much the same. It just has uh, a little bit of a different colors. And the ultimate, 
it does changes and it's very noticeable because you actually when you cast it instead of ravens flying or anything like that you actually have a uh in this case oh he's gonna die you have uh, a pumpkin uh, the face of a pumpkin and whenever you fear someone you actually make a pumpkin appear on their head as well so that's pretty nice now going a little bit to her ultimate now the way i like to use my ultimate it's uh, it's just it's a little bit different because i noticed that a lot of prayer players use it in front of the enemies well what i like to do is i like to use it behind the enemies i like to get inside of the tower and fear the enemies away from the tower because if you actually do it otherwise you just push the enemies to a different location and you don't want to do that guys you want to push your enemies towards your allies so that way well only if they are preferred to only if they are prepared to deal some good damage now the reason why i let the tower hit me a little bit is because i wanted to secure uh the tower kill now go to destroy the tower <clears throat> again uh what i do is oh mage handguard for mage handguard it is a plus to have it it increases your spell bamp and uh, what i try to do right now is i have a lot of mobility i have a good ability power because of uh handguard i do have a good armor as well the reason why I decided to get physical armor is because we're fighting a Song Kong and we're also fighting Mikari. Mikari pretty much ignores all of your defense. Yeah, he gets 50% uh, armor penetration and if he has, let's say, um, a Dragon Sword, he's going to ignore another 30% of your of your armor. So that's going to be pretty nasty. <clears throat> Again, look at this guys. I use the ultimate on the back. That way I can ensure that the person will go uh, outside of the range. I, I don't like to use it otherwise. And if you, you I mean, you're going to get showers, um, <laughs> showers. You're going to get shots from the tower. But it's very important to know, guys, that you can lifesteal that from your enemy. Well, spell them from your enemy. You can pretty much do that. And you'll be pretty much secure in your uh, survivability. Because, again, she has a lot, as you can see, guys. I just stole the life of the minion and you could see that it was actually pretty high. Oh, she's taking down the the dragon over there by herself. Is she gonna get it? Damn, she's gonna get it. Right now, the best thing that I can do it is to keep this person busy so they don't go over there. <clears throat> okay, again, yet again, I go into the tower. The thing is that I actually do not mind going into the tower because I... I expect my players, uh, right now I, I was playing with uh, some friends and I kind of can rely on them because they do have the tendency to dash into the tower whenever I go in. So that's going to be pretty nice. Now another thing that I want to tell you is when I build this champion I like to get uh, Mage Hangar. The reason is that you actually get uh, you get advantage almost all of the abilities that, that it provides, all of the stats let's say. <clears throat> and I also like to get uh, Doom Mask. Doom Mask seems to work very well in her because of your second ability. It actually allows you to reapply the burn that it does. And that's pretty nice, actually. And it's extra lifesteal. I'm sorry, it's extra... Oh, yeah, it is. Because it burns the enemy and that damage that you're dealing to your enemies is actually converted into HP towards you because of your spell band. That you you're that you're gonna have now uh, right here I was kind of thinking if I how if I was having mana problems if I just change my items to more mana or just uh, increase more my ability power so at the end I decided to go for a second hand guard I usually don't repeat items but in the, in this specific scenario I did want it to have the extra armor and I did want it to have the the extra spell band. Now, I, I am going to, to go ahead and change my build in a little bit because I Mikari has always been a problem to me because he can actually, um, he can burst you very, very fast. So what I do to kind of counter a little bit of that insane damage is I actually get a Guardian Scepter and I get Medusa Shield because it's very high armor 
and it provides me an additional shield that can help I mean I'm not saying that it will help me but it can highly help uh, keeping me alive <clears throat> now guys there are there are many many things that I wanted to talk to you uh, guys about uh, today so I will go ahead and do that uh, the first thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that I I haven't been playing I want to play this is actually an old video this is before the patch that we just received and uh, I had to delete many videos that I had ready uh, for you guys because they had changes that that were applied on on these um, on these patches for example I did have videos of Oscar but I had to delete, delete him because Oscar is no longer like that. Oscar was actually changed right here. <laughs> I was being very stupid and I, I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's one it's one B2. <clears throat> but I, I don't know why I wanted to, to follow that person. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much that was the first thing is that I haven't been playing a lot. And uh, most of the videos that I had ready for you guys, they're no longer available for me. So I had to delete him. Now another thing that I wanted to tell you besides that is that I I have been having problems with my internet. So lately I've been having my ping up to 3000. And that's actually a problem because it's making me decline challenges, it's making me decline parties, it's making me decline several several things. Now as you can see, I here I finally go for the um for the extra extra uh, shit mm. for the extra mana because I wanted to have the extra mana I kind of needed it that's why I decided to go for it now um another item that I like to get with Pandora it's if I'm fighting a magical champion if uh, if the one that pre is presenting me more problems it's either a, a mage I actually go for elven armor the reason is that it also increases my spell bamp and the heal that I get back. So that's gonna be pretty nice. Oh, what the hell? What was that? Hmm. Okay, um, ignore that, guys. I don't know what happened, actually. Ah, uh, I... Right there, I was about to use my ultimate, and because I used it late, like, late, I... <laughs> I couldn't... I could not use it. Oh, he doesn't have any mobility. I, I have seen a lot of Mikaris that don't even build mobility and they do very fucking well. He is the, uh, in my opinion, he is the best assassin there is right now. And it is the worst, worst person that you can fight in a 1v1 because of the amount of damage that he, that he can dish out even to a tank. He can dish out a lot of damage to the tank and that's actually pretty, pretty nasty, honestly. Well, going over... <clears throat> going over to the things that I wanted to do now I I have not been accepting any friend request because I actually don't have space and I got tired of uh, deleting the leading persons and then re adding other persons and seeing who was inactive who was active and so forward so what I did is I wanted to purchase the expansion of the friend list it would go from 200 to 2000 but I just needed 100 gems now as you guys know I don't have money to purchase anything like that I know it's only a dollar but I don't have money to spend uh, on especially on games so I it was very very lucky that when I updated the client ah, what the hell I was able to apply my one <laughs> well you can see the candy right there oh well <clears throat> uh, since I wanted to increase the capacity, uh, when I updated the client, you you guys know that we just had a patch, it was 2-3 days ago, that included the assassin, the cat assassin, I don't even know her name. Uh, they gave us 100 gems, so I went ahead and spent it on, I spent it on, um, on increasing the capacity of my list. The reason is that I want to be sure that I want to add as many persons as I can because I, I don't want to deny any any party invitations, any any friend invites as well. So, oh, what the hell? <laughs> I, I couldn't do it properly. I thought that I would be able to 
to dash towards um he's gonna come towards me here it is i like to start with the silence because the, that actually cripples the enemy from doing anything that they have planned on doing uh, i let him escape well no no no, no. he's gonna die. he's oh he died now we, we just want to make sure that he dies i have to wait for the shield to disappear and then i use my one because if i had used my one while he had his shield that would be a waste actually as you can see i was damaged but look at this guys i can pretty much regain my hp oh look can you see that guys i was going to die because of the amount of armor that i had because of the passive that i had on my uh, garden scepter i was able to survive <clears throat> okay so another thing guys uh i'm only able to play about one or two hours a day so when i play i get friend invites and I'm actually not able to play with everyone because I am very, very limited to the amount of time that I can play. So keeping that in mind, that is actually a problem because I, I cannot play as much as I would like to. So that's one thing. Now, I've been thinking a lot lately and I am actually thinking about making a donation system available in case anyone would want to help out. Now that money uh would go towards the game it, it could be it, it would be mainly champions it would be mainly champions for example right now people are asking me uh, to play the cat assassin and a lot of people have her available and they just want to learn um how they play her and they want someone else to analyze the champion which is pretty nice uh i i like that you guys think of me uh, as a good player now I cannot play champions as soon as they are released because it's very stupid but you have to pay for them and again as I, I think that since the beginning that I started making videos I have been really straightforward to you guys I cannot afford to buy champions I I'd once bought champions I spent I think it was 10 or 15 dollars and what I bought is I bought uh, Mishra Mishra was a champion that I wanted to get and I actually decided to get her and uh, when I did uh, when I did get her uh, she was pretty nice she was very um, she was a good investment <clears throat> but that was the only time that I spent money on the game and uh, besides that I I have not spent any any other amount in the, into the game because I I cannot afford it at that time I had the opportunity to invest into the game but I had to relocate, I had to look for a different job. This is a part-time job that I have. It doesn't allow me to go over uh, 29, 29 hours per week. So I have to, to kind of manage my money very well. So yes, guys, I've been planning on, on adding this donation system. I don't know if you guys think it's a good idea. I guess I'll do it either way. It will be micro donations, like $1, $2, in case anyone would like to help. To help out in any way because um because again i don't have a way to to be able to um oh damn my shield uh, i don't have a way to to pay and if i could get help it would be very nice so that's why i am letting you guys know <clears throat> now another thing that i want to tell you I don't play 5v5 matches. I, I think I have been very clear about that. But I don't do it because I only play 1 or 2 hours a day. And if I play one be, uh, a 5v5 match, it's probably going to take more than 40 to 50 minutes. So that's the thing that you don't want to... Well, that's, that's the thing that I want to avoid having to fight because... Because it's going to take away all the playtime that I have. So because when I play, I have to play because I want to play. That way I, I can enjoy the game. I have to play because I have to make videos so that you guys can watch it. And then I have to play because people are inviting me to their parties. And, and of course they want me to be around. And that's another thing. And I cannot do so because, well, I'm not able to. The reason why I decided to get close to the fountain is because I wanted to be a decoy. I wanted to be I wanted someone to be able to to destroy the tower while I was a bait over there. And that's what I did. 
So since I only play one or two games a, a day, uh, well, sorry, one or two hours a day, I have to limit how many times I can play with viewers, how many times I can play um, by myself, and uh, how many times I can play for for you guys uh, as a videos. But as you can see, this is a very, very good champion. I like her a lot. She's very powerful. So guys, just let me know what you guys think if, if I should go on on adding this nation system again this nation system will be pretty much so that I can go ahead and uh, let me pause it right here so you can see the the builds that everyone had <clears throat> oh that's why he was able to birth me at the end because you had critical okay uh, so guys uh, please tell me what you think about it I want to add a donation system so that I can of course get donations from anyone that is willing to help and I, um, I started playing this game back in November, October, no, September. It was September of last year. And since then, I have never asked anyone for anything. But since I noticed that a lot of players are asking me to play newer champions and I'm not able to do so, I, I, my answer is always the same as I don't have her. I have to wait until two weeks have passed and hopefully... I would have enough gold to purchase because it's also difficult to farm gold when I'm not able to play. As I told you, I have 3k pings when I play 3v3 matches, so it's making it very difficult for me to be able to gather money. Now, this weekend we had two times, well, today, we still have uh, two times everything that's gold, uh, talent gems, points, etc. And um, I wanted to get advantage of that, and I did. I kind of played for a little bit. I was able to play uh, several matches. However, um, the money that I got, it's not a lot. But I think by in two weeks from now, I should be able to purchase one of the new champions. And, uh, and I'll be able to show you, uh, I guess, learn with you guys how we can play this champion. So let me know what you think about that, guys. Because my point of, of telling you when I started playing the game, it was to kind of um, tell you guys that... From then to now, it is, let me count it, it's September, October, November, December, and then it's January, February, March, April, May, that's nine months. In nine months, I have never asked anyone for help, but I decided to see if I place this donation system, you could guys uh, see if you want, of course, it's not something that you have to do. Uh, if you want to help out, you could donate one, two dollars, anything that you can, it's fine. And, uh, and because... Right now, the channel is growing. Right now, the channel is growing. And uh, we are about to reach 300 subscribers. If any of them decided to donate any amount, any, I mean, it could be two players could donate $1, $2. Uh, as the time goes by, I could be able to gather a 1,000 gems. And I could purchase any champion as soon as it's released. Or I could also increase, um, what I, what I mainly want to do is I want to increase my, my pool of, uh, champions available. Because I want to play all champions. I want to play all of them, even, even if I don't like them. I honestly don't like assassins and archers. I do like fighters, tanks, um, mages, and all of that. Uh, that's that's what I like. I, I think I prefer mages. However, most of the time I play tanks because no one wants to play a tank. And when I want to troll or have fun, I actually go for fighters or bruisers. Because they they do very, very well. I like them a lot. Now, mm, I think that's that's going to be it, guys. I um, If I get donations, I'm not going to spend it on skins or gems or weapons. I would only purchase champions. And that would be so that we can increase the champion pool overall guys because it's gonna be towards the i guess my point is the money that if you guys decide to donate is gonna be invested back to the game so uh overall it'll be back to you as well because if you like the content and if you can see more champions it it's uh it's gonna be back to you that guys the thing is that i don't want you to think that i'm i'm trying to to beg for money, but I am just saying that I have a channel, I play champions for you, 
and it would be nice if I could get help from you guys to increase my chances of playing newer champions as soon as they become available and also purchase other champions that I don't have. So that, that's that's going to be the main purpose because I, I don't have many champions. So yeah, I have to wait until they are on sale. I have to wait until I have enough gems uh, and then I have to see if they give out or they have any events in which they give diamonds away. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you can please bring me some feedback on that topic because I am very interested. I have not done so. I have not included any donation system because I want to know if it's gonna work, guys. I want to know what is your feedback, what is it that you have as an opinion. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please enjoy the rest of your day and I hope that we can continue on progress on this channel.